How are you guys doing today? My name is Steven Bryant. I'm the fitness specialist here at the Whaleyville Community Center, and this to my right is... Jake Juan Demio. I'm the fitness leader here at Whaleyville Community Center. So today we're going to walk you through um, a couple exercises that sometimes can cause a little confusion or intimidation when you go into a gym setting or a workout setting. So today we're going to cover uh, the deadlift and the squat. So I'm going to show you how to do it and then a couple variations for those exercises. Okay, so we're going to start off with the barbell squat. Um, now this is a great exercise. It's going to work your back, basically your entire posterior chain, so even some of your shoulders, your traps, uh, your lower sp spinal supporters, your glutes and hamstrings. Okay, so when you approach the bar, you want your feet about shoulder width apart, and then you're gonna get nice and close to the bar. Your hands are gonna go right outside your feet and right outside your legs. And then you wanna try to keep these shins vertical and your shoulders on top of your hands. And then essentially you're just gonna pull up. You're just gonna make it nice and simple. You're gonna stand up, squeezing through your glutes, and then as you come back down, you're gonna keep it close to your body and sit it back down, okay? So Jaquan's gonna show you a couple more repetitions. Good, just sitting up, standing up and putting it down, okay? Keeping a nice upright posture, okay? Good. All right, good. Now, he's a, little, he's a little low with his hips, but that's perfectly fine. Um, some people like getting down a little bit lower. Some go a little bit higher with their hips, and that's just gonna give you more tension on your hamstrings and glutes, and that's perfectly fine. Um, now we're gonna show you a variation with the dumbbells. Okay, so if you don't have access to a barbell at home, or uh, you don't wanna go to the gym, but you have some dumbbells at the house or something heavy, you can hold it in two hands, okay? And so the only thing that's gonna change is when you come up, your hands are now just gonna kinda come to the sides. So as you start, you're gonna go down, there you go, and then come back up. And I'll show them with a little less, a uh, little more hip hinge, so you're gonna come over a little bit more, there you go. Yep, boom, there you go, good. So just keeping those hands nice and tight to the body, and as you come up, you're squeezing through those glutes, Good, driving those hips forward. Okay, there we go. All right, so now next we're gonna show you how to do it in the trap bar. Okay, this is an interesting looking contraption that you may find at your gym. Um, this is a great way if you don't feel comfortable squatting all the way down for, uh, getting all the way down for the barbell squat, barbell deadlift, sorry. Um, <laughs> So this is gonna sit you up a little bit higher and it's gonna put the load more centrally on your spine. Okay, you'll feel a little bit more in your quads just because of the position of the handles. Okay, so you're gonna be sitting up or with those hips nice and high and you're gonna roll that bar right back in the middle of your feet. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing. You're standing up, engaging the core, squeezing through the hips. Okay, there you go. Good. There we go. All right, so that is, those are three variations for uh, the deadlift. And I hope this is, information has been useful for you and that you can get going and not feel so intimidated. This is a great exercise. Uh, it's gonna help develop a lot of muscle, uh, burn a lot of calories because it's using large muscle groups and a lot of them. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. See you next time.